let me first and foremost say I am not an authority. So I, I don't view myself as having authority over anyone coming to scripture. But I have enough common sense to know that the church cannot be where half believe one way and half believe another. Paul addresses the Corinthian church and he says, there can't be contentions among you, brethren. And some are saying that they're of Paul and others of Apollos and Cephas. We're of Christ. And Paul goes on to say, is Christ divided? God forbid Christ isn't divided. The church cannot be divided. You can't have half of you saying that Jesus is the son at the resurrection and then some at the baptism and then some at Luke 135 or pre-existence or some are God. Whatever the case is, the church cannot be divided. There can only be one truth. Paul lays out the foundation of the church. It's scriptural. There's many books that talk about the church repeatedly and it does not fit Unitarianism. Paul talks about bishops and deacons and leaders and apostles. Unitarianism has none of this. You don't have bishops. You don't have leaders. That's actually the problem with Unitarianism. Everyone wants to be their own authority that no one submits to authority. So you have everyone essentially being their own authority, coming up with all these crazy ideas, ripping books of the Bible out, Christ is this, Christ is that, all these contentions, but somehow you're under the same umbrella and want to be the church, but I'm telling you, you're not. You cannot disagree on every issue across the board and have truth. You cannot. And we can look at Trinitarians. It is true. Orthodox disagree with Protestants and Protestants amongst their groups with other groups but everyone in that group believes the same way but with Unitarianism you guys can't even agree on who Jesus is that's insane you guys are not the church it's impossible for Unitarianism to be true scripturally and I can, I can prove it with, with scripture there's no way you are not the church and even the handful of you that do agree, you know, like all five of you, you're not the church. In the book of Revelation, it talks about how there's a nation of people from every tribe, language, and tongue worshiping the Lord. And that it's numberless. That doesn't fit Unitarianism. You know, five people agreeing on YouTube, you're not every tribe, nation, and tongue and a sea of people without number. That's something bigger than your fringe ideas. And I'm willing to say I've been wrong. And I'm not your authority, but I can tell you plainly that you guys are not right. And these panels where you guys just argue and disagree, you guys don't fear God. You're going to stand before him some of you make ridiculous claims and you might be leading others astray. Think about it. Unitarian Pope, you're up. Okay. Um, I agree with what you guys are saying about works and faith and everything, but there's also a different aspect of faith. The Bible says that there's one baptism, one Lord, one church, one faith. Now, the interesting thing up here, there's nine people on this panel, and I would say every single person here has a different faith, a different doctrine all the way across the board. I don't think that the early church or the apostles had this karaoke view that they all just believed in different things, but somehow had the same faith. And I'm not saying that to knock any of you. I could be wrong. I could be in the wrong faith, but I, I have enough common sense to know that out of Unitarianism, it can't be right because everyone has different views across the board. Some are holding the faith that Jesus becomes the son of God at resurrection, others at birth, others at baptism, all these different things. And I'm not saying this to make some, to turn it into like this deity debate. We can 
take it across the board with anything from do we have to be baptized or do we not have to be baptized, whatever you want to claim it. But at the end of the day, there can only be one truth and, and one faith. It cannot be this universal karaoke idea that somehow we're all in the faith. So I would say out of the nine of us up here, the only faith we all possess is the same as the demons. We believe in one God. And I'll yield there. Uh, thank you. Unitarian. Oh, that was powerful. 